Hello, and I'd like to introduce you to what, according to Google Translate, because I know Google Translate's terrible with names, like this Mubai Mubai is the name of this player. Um, brand new player, except for the fact that this is the person that's, I'm fairly sure, has been cheating for over a thousand battles, and hasn't bought a single premium, but is just cheating on his account regularly. Um, he's also in a gamer squadron. Here's the Discord in question, just so you know. I don't know, USA Legacy. Yeah. Um, you have a cheater in your squadron. Um, so I wanted to bring up something in regards to the last video I did. I only did like a, obviously a two minute video on a certain group of people that make cheats that have a ghost for their icon. Um, I discussed this uh, with a couple people and there's a couple things I need to bring up. Obviously they came into my chat and were like, thanks for the free advertising, blah, blah, blah. Cause you know, cheaters want to be cocky like that even though they are pretty much all losers. Um, the one funny thing about their software that I looked up is that I know several people I talk to who are coders, who are, you know, people that monitor stuff like that, or who are, you know, more knowledgeable than me when it comes to coding and stuff like this. Um, they said their software looks like it was run terribly optimized, which I thought was hilarious because every time I see their advertisements that they run, um, I noticed that their frame rate was atrocious because for some reason they thought it was a good idea to allow the loading of crew slots and modules and all this other stuff inside of a tank when in reality, if you know where to shoot in any War Thunder game, you don't need any of that data. So it's just fluff data that just ruins the performance, which is why if you saw in the video that I actually, well, I guess the video I posted didn't show any movement. But I, when I watched that replay, that person's at least in their advertisement, quote unquote advertisement, um, they were, their performance was terrible. It was like 40 to 50 FPS, which for a normal running game, which according to their graphics is all like high, is pretty bad. Um, I thought that was funny. And I know a lot of people who thought their software was pretty atrocious. Um, also, I wanted to bring up the fact that according to what I've gathered, I have at least 10 of their accounts, all of which that are higher end like purchased accounts. So like the last video had a, a guy with like three premiums on it. So had had two like $60, $70 premiums and then like one $40 premiums, so like a 200 ish, 150 ish dollar account roughly. Um, I found according to some of their advertisements, I found and people that I know that were in that squadron that are, or not squadron in that group that are related to that, at least 10 accounts that have several hundreds of dollars of the premiums and I have those names recorded. Um, I also sent those names to a particular person um, that is going to help me send those names up to Gaijin. So in that regard, it's funny to me that you guys all brag about the advertisement that I gave you. And in reality, finding your guys' names is very easy. And the fact that you spend all this money on your quote unquote advertisement accounts and all these YouTube spam channels that you guys promote. And yet you don't do a very good job of promoting your stuff. In reality, as always, cheaters are sad and, you know, don't deserve anything in regards to the way this game is. Um, I also wanted to mention that because of the, the fact that I have a couple more contacts now, I have... Um, the ability to send uh, more data to Gaijin, which is a good thing. Um, I have a few more contacts that I have um, relationships with. So um, because of that and because of what's going on with the new BattleEye implementation that I think that's coming up, I do believe it's going to probably be a little bit harder. Now, I know people have said that BattleEye in other games is not very good. However, I do honestly think that if it's implemented correctly, as always, it's still an implementation thing it can do a good thing. Now, obviously, I've said before, cheating is always gonna be a problem in any game we play, and Gaijin obviously wouldn't keep be having these issues if the fact that they had continued to use their own implementation of their anti-cheat and, you know, done the right thing and kept implementing that. Um, this guy's gonna get killed right here in a sec because he sits in one place and gets smacked by a C100P. And then he leaves the game immediately because, you know, even though he got three kills, he doesn't respawn again. Um, and then he's gone. So. But yeah, like I said, the the whole idea is that Battle.net, everyone assumes Battle.net is going to be terrible, it's not going to work right, blah, blah, blah. And yes, we have to remember that Gaijin is still a company that is implementing this, has to develop this, has to make sure everything is working correctly, and we're trying to make sure that obviously the game 
runs well. The thing that I have obviously recommended to Gaijin, which who knows if they care or not, is to make the game run on more than a single core of performance. We I've gotten people who have mentioned that Battle Eye doesn't do anything in their other games that they play. They say that War they said that um Destiny has like a bunch of cheaters in it, which I know is effectively a lie. Um, they said that uh, the Battle Eye in um, what's it called Rainbow Six Siege is still bad. Um, that's going to be the problem always with games that are competitive, whereas War Thunder is not competitive. People that cheat in this game tend to do it because they have literally no life, and you know that's their only advantage they can get. Um, and that's generally the consensus I've gotten from a lot of cheaters. They do it because they're bored. And I find that incredibly ironic that someone would pay for cheats and pay for accounts because they like... because they're bored. And I find that awesomely hilarious. And obviously very, very sad, but, you know, I digress. They're really not going to be able to do much else about it unless Gaijin does more implement implementation, excuse me, to, you know, get away from a lot of the cheating issues. Or, like, for instance, go back to their old method. Um, I don't know why they don't, they don't use their old cheating software, or old anti-cheat anymore, um, which very much protected the game against a lot of nonsense. So, as always, um, I'll leave this here. If you have a player in question you want to leave to me, please leave their name, ID, the replay numbers in question from the URL, and a description of the battle that you saw. Um, and, as always, I hope you have a good rest of your morning, day, evening, or night, and have a good one.